Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Driving Digital Standup. I'm Isaac Sokolek, or NY Ike, on Twitter, and we have two reasons I'm celebrating this week. First and foremost, this is the 50th episode on this channel. I hope you will subscribe to it. And second, I just launched my second book, Digital Trailblazer. It's available on Amazon now and wherever you pick up books. It's full of my stories and 50 lessons learned for leading transformation efforts. And what we're going to be doing in the driving digital standup is we're going to be doing some new formats. Um, this format will really be talking specifically to digital trailblazers, and we'll be covering some best practices that come off of themes that I cover in the book. Chapter two is my chapter on technical debt is not your problem, is now your problem. And this is one of the things I say in the book. Demonstrate the business and customer impacts around tech debt and legacy systems. And we're going to talk about that in this episode so that you have a better idea of how to bring technical debt to your stakeholders and your teammates, prioritize the work, and make sure that in addition to new capabilities that you're launching, you're also focusing on addressing technical debt. So chapter two of Digital Trailblazer is titled, Technical Debt is Now Your Problem. And what I mean by that is, if you're on a DevOps team, you're a developer or you're in operations, you're creating and adding to technology, you know you're also creating technical debt, you're putting it on a list and you're slowly chipping away at the technical debt backlog. Now, when you become a digital trailblazer, now it's your problem to make sure that that work gets prioritized, that the right things get worked on, that they get resolved, and that stakeholders understand why you're continuously investing in your technology. Now, what I think is that there's two aspects to doing this, and it starts with a technical plan that I first wrote about in this blog post, how to avoid bogging down your IT org with too much technical debt. And it starts with really focusing on planning, right? We know that when we rush into technology implementations, we don't think through the architecture and the implications of what we're building. We end up adding more to technical debt. So invest more time in your backlog to actually doing agile continuous planning. And for those of you who have watched my episodes before, you know I have several episodes that cover agile continuous planning. But by doing this, it means you have enough time to start thinking through the implications of what you're trying to build and avoiding some of the traps that create technical debt. Second thing is to really introduce some disciplines. You know, very often as an engineer, we try to go solve problems, rolling up the sleeves and adding to our technology. What we fail to do sometimes is research third party technologies, low code solutions, open source libraries, or even existing technologies that we've already implemented that can be converted to a microservice and reused. So put some discipline in place before you start building, looking at what you can reuse and reapply. And the third thing is coming up with several non-negotiable policies around the introduction and the uh, reduction of technical debt. What are your policies that everybody is going to agree to? What types of technical debt you're not going to accept? How much of your backlog should be prioritized to addressing technical debt? And what you'll find is if you have 10 or 20 teams in your organization, there isn't a one size fits all answer to that. Um, and so coming up with your policies and setting some direction is really important. So that's that goes into the technical plan. If you want to read more about this, I cover this in detail at the URL starcio.com slash DDS slash EP50. But now let's talk about the business side of this, right? And the business side is a little bit different in that, you know, folks still don't understand on finance, in our leadership group, in our marketing groups, they don't understand technical debt. They understand that they want to get more things done. Right. And so we need to spend some time setting expectations with our stakeholders that when we build a new application, they might understand MVPs, they might understand phase twos and multiple releases. But we need to continually explain what it is that falls into the category of technical debt and why we need to continuously prioritize it. Second thing is you need to capture data on the impacts around technical debt that could be 
outages. It can be performance issues. If you have SREs, they might be measuring error budgets. These are all fun and important things to do to be able to capture what the impact is around your technical debt from an operation perspective. But make sure you tell a story. Right. Why is this important to get addressed? What is its business impact? Why is it something that the team wants to go out and improve on to, uh, to avoid uh, issues and to actually improve the speed of development? So make sure you tell that story in addition to being able to capture the metrics. And then finally, you know, most organizations I know have more technical debt than they can solve for in any given year or release or sprint. And that means you need to come up with a mechanism to prioritize uh, that work, how, how you think about why one particular area is more impactful, when is it opportunistic to work on some technical debt over the others, and come up with some policies and some ways of thinking about this so that teams can align and make sure that we're not just griping about the length of the list, but we're actually focusing on the things that really matter. So these are the things that you should be doing as a trailblazer around, a digital trailblazer around prioritizing technical debt. You need a technical plan against this and a business plan. And I look forward to talking to you more about this. If you email me, reach out to me on Twitter, I'll share with you all the articles I've written, at least a dozen articles that touch on technical debt issues, both on my blog and on InfoWorld. So I hope you'll pick up a copy of Digital Trailblazer. You'll read my personal war stories around addressing technical debt. And I look forward to seeing you at future episodes of the Driving Digital Stand-Up. Have a great day.